If you were asked to solve a rational equation, the first step is to factor the denominators. In this case, we have a trinomial here on the right side. We'll begin by writing in two blank parentheses, x squared factors, x times x. The factors of 10 that add up to negative 3 are 2 and 5. We'll obtain a negative 3x if the 5 is negative and the 2 is positive. Once you have the denominators factored, you can then make note of the restrictions. Now the restrictions are the values that evaluate to 0 in the denominator. In this case, x cannot equal 5 and also x cannot equal negative 2. Once we make note of the restrictions, we can then clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by the LCD. In this case, the LCD is x plus 2 times x minus 5. When we multiply both sides by the LCD, we have to take care to apply the distributive property and multiply this LCD times both of the terms here on the left side. Multiplying both sides by the LCD is equivalent to multiplying each term by the LCD. Once we do that, we can then cancel. So in this term, x minus 5 cancels, and that leaves us with x times x plus 2. Here, the x plus 2 cancels, leaving 3 times x minus 5 equals, now on the right side, both of these factors cancel, leaving us with 7x. Multiplying both sides by the LCD clears the fractions. Now, we have a quadratic equation that can be solved as usual. First, we distribute the x. Leaves us with x squared plus 2x. Then distribute this 3 here, so plus 3x minus 15. On the left here, we have same side like terms, 2x and 3x. Well, that adds up to 5x minus 15, 7x. It's quadratic. We need to get this equal to 0 in standard form, so we'll go ahead and subtract 7x on both sides. That'll leave us with x squared minus 2x minus 15, which can be solved by factoring. Okay, so x squared factors x times x. The factors of 15 that are going to add up to negative 2 are 3 and 5. We'll get a negative 2x if the 5 is negative and the 3 is positive. Set each factor equal to 0. And solve. In this case, x equals negative 3 or x could equal 5. Now, as the last step, you want to check to make sure that you solve the original equation. Notice 5 is a restriction. If we were to substitute 5 into the original equation, we would have 0 in the denominator, which is undefined. Therefore, we're going to disregard 5 and consider it as an extraneous solution. In this case, negative 3 is our only solution.